Income tax 2021-2022 business credits. Get ready to get refunds to the max diving into income tax 2021-2022. Most of this information can be found in publication 334 tax guide for small business tax year 2021. Looking at the income tax formula line one income, we would have a subschedule, basically an income statement, which has income and expenses. The expenses basically being deductions, the net flowing in to line one income of the tax formula and the form 1040 page one on the tax return we would have the schedule c flowing into the schedule one then flowing into the first page of the 1040 here on line eight this is the schedule c in essence and income statement we're looking at business credits now so we're going to go over these in a basically a, just an overview of these because they're generally applying to more specialized areas which would be dependent on the type of business that you are in so if any of these are are applicable you could take a look at the publication for more detail and the form instructions for more detail and continue your research from there all of the following credits are part of the general business credits the form you use to figure each credit is shown in parentheses you will also have to complete form 3800 so you can look at the instructions for form 3800 as another starting point to do further research uh, some credits have expiration dates check the instructions for each credit to make sure it is available for 2021 alternative fuel vehicle refueling property credit form 8911 this credit applies to the cost of any qualified fuel vehicle refueling property for more information you can look at the form 8911 the alternative motor vehicle credit you can look at form 8910 to research that one in more depth biodiesel and renewable diesel fuels you can look at form 8864 in more depth for that one Biofuel producer credit form 6478 is where you can look at that for more detail. Carbon oxide sequestration credit that's on form 8933. This credit is the carbon oxide that is captured at a qualified facility and disposed of in secure geological storage or used in a qualified enhanced oil or natural gas recovery project. For more information, you can see the form 8933. Credit for employer social security and Medicare taxes paid on certain employees' tips. Uh, so form 8846 for that one. This credit is generally equal to your employer's portion of social security and Medicare taxes paid on tips received by employees of your food and beverage establishment where tipping is uh, customary. So tips can be a little bit confusing because you know the IRS wants you to record them as revenue and then and they they're going to try to get the 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 employer to kind of force them to report the tips in some ways which can be difficult because depending on how the tips are going to basically work and then you've got the issue with the uh self-employment uh or the payroll taxes involved with it which is going to be you know an added complexity when you're thinking about these tips because it used to be of course when you tipped someone you usually paid someone cash tip and <laughs> And then they put it in their pocket and nobody had, nobody had, you know, wasn't a, you know, but now of course they want to report the tips. And one way to get the tips reported is try to get the employer to be, to be the one that has to report the tips. And then once they're reported, then the question uh, comes into play with regards to the social security or payroll taxes and so on. So the credit applies, to, uh, applies regardless of whether the food is consumed or on or off your business premises. For more information on that one, you can see form 8846. We have the credit for employer dif differential wage payments. That's on form 8932. This credit provides businesses with an incentive to continue to pay wages to an employee performing services on active duty and the uniformed services of the United States for a period of time uh, more than 30 days. For more information, you can see the form 8932. We have the credit for employer provided child care facilities and services, form 8882. This credit applies to the qualified expenses you paid for employee child care and qualified expenses you paid for child care resources and referral services. So you can look at the form 8882 for that one. Credit for increase, uh, increasing research activities, Form 6765. This credit is designed to encourage businesses 
to increase the amounts they spend on research and experimental activities, including energy research. So for more information on that one, Form 6765. Credit for small employer health insurance premiums, that's on Form 8941. This credit applies to the cost of certain health insurance coverage you provide to certain employees. For more information, you could look at that Form 8941. Credit for small employer pension plan startup costs, Form 8881. The credit applies to pension plan startup costs of a new qualified defined benefit or defined contribution plan, including a 401k, simple plan, or simplified employee plan. So when you're, that's one of the benefits that you could basically give to employees uh, and would be, the, would be the retirement plan. And so you can look into, into that as well. So for more information, you can see publication 560, Retirement Plans for Small Business, Disabled Access Credit, Form 8826. This credit is a non-refundable tax credit for an eligible small business that pays or incurs expenses to provide access to persons who have disabilities. You must pay or incur the expenses to enable your business to comply with the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. For more information, Form 8826. 8826 uh, distilled spirits credit form 8906 this credit is available to distillers and importers of distilled spirits and eligible wholesalers of distilled spirits for more information uh, see form 8906 distilled distilled spirits oh <laughs> just i need some distilled spirits okay employee retention credit form 88 I'm sorry, Form 5884A. You may qualify for this credit if you continue to pay or incur wages after your business became uh, in inoperable because of damage from certain federally declared disasters. So for that, you can look at the Form 5884A. Employer credit for paid family and medical leaves, Form 8994. This credit applies for wages paid to qualified employees while they are on family and medical leave subject to certain conditions. So you can look at that form here, 8994. That is Empowerment Zone Employment Credit, Form 8844. You may qualify for this credit if you have employees and are engaged in a business in an empowerment zone for which the credit is available. For that, you can look at Form 8844. Indian Employment Credit, Form 8845. This credit applies to qualified wages and health insurance costs you paid or incurred for qualified employees. For that, you can look at Form 8845. You got the investment credit, Form 3468. The investment credit is the total of the several credits. For more information, you can see uh, Form 3468. And then we've got the low sulfur diesel fuel production credit, Form 8896. And then we have the low income housing credit, Form 8586. This credit generally applies to each qualified low income building placed in service after 1986. And then we have the mine rescue team training credit, Form 8923. This credit applies to training programs costs uh, you pay or incur for certain mine rescue team employees. So again, some of these credits are obviously going to be specialized kind of areas, and you can go into the more research on the particular or related forms to dive deeper into them.